Hi everyone, it's Aletha here of Ribbons and Zippers and today we're going to talk about something that as designers and dressmakers we all experience. It's either we fit our clients or we, f we get into a situation where we can't fit our clients and um, sometimes that may happen because we sell online and like I do, I have a custom dressmaking line where I sell custom dresses that are either one of a kind or limited edition. So in that case, if it's a limited edition, customers are able to put their measurements in, um, maybe send me a picture, and I work with them over the phone or through email to get a great fit. In that case, I can't fit do a fitting like we would normally do as custom dressmakers. And there could be situations where, um, like the situation that, that I had, my client wants to give her daughter a um, surprise dress is for her a graduation. Her daughter saw this really cute gown. It's a, it's a dress actually in online and um, her mother decided, oh, I'll get it made for her as a surprise. So I'm making the dress or I, I made the dress. I'm going to show you. I made the dress. It's basically, I had no way of fitting um, the daughter but luckily I was able to use measurements that I had for her in the past she happened to be one of my my models for a fashion show that I did so right away I went to the dress that she used for the fashion show and it was almost very similar to the dress that the mom wanted me to make so I was able to use those measurements. And so I'm going to show you how I did it and um, how it came out. But I'm not going to be able to show you the pictures of the daughter wearing the dress because like I said, it's a surprise. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the dress that we used for the fashion show, the one that she wore. And I don't think I'm going to have to deconstruct this dress to get her measurements because I realize I already have her measurements. But one of the things that we did remember is that I do remember is that we had an issue with the right shoulder strap. It kept falling down. So that I will have to take into consideration when I construct her surprise uh, graduation dress. And what I'm going to use is a nice boning. This boning is about a half of an inch and I'll put the information in the link below so you'll, you'll know what type of boning it is. And I cut it um, for the four seams on the side of the dress to give the dress a little bit of stability. And also, I use this. And so we took the boning and I sewed the boning into the seam 
right on the seam and those little holes in the boning makes it easy for the needle to go through and to make it nice and neat we pink the edges of the seam this is the stabilizer if you can see it won't move at all and the end result is a beautiful stable bodice the bodice is so nice stands up so nice and and uh, firm and this is going to look beautiful on that dress